Welcome to this edition of Financial Update. Earlier today, Deutsche Bank released a report on its first quarter of the 2022 fiscal year, showing an 11th consecutive quarter of profit. Backslash N backslash N Deutsche Bank reported a net profit of 1.158 billion euros, 1.28 billion dollars, for the first quarter, comfortably above a consensus forecast of 864.54 million euros produced by a Reuters poll of analysts, and up from 1.06 billion euros for the same period of last year. The German lender was able to benefit from a sweeping restructuring plan that began in 2019, with the aim of cutting costs and improving profitability. Backslash and backslash and our first quarter results demonstrate the relevance of our global house bank strategy to our clients and underscore that we are well on track to meeting or exceeding our 2025 targets, said CEO Christian Sewing. He also announced measures to accelerate the bank's strategy, including raising its ambitions for operational efficiency, boosting capital efficiency to drive returns and support shareholder distributions, and seizing opportunities to outperform on its revenue growth targets. Backslash N backslash N. However, the bank simultaneously announced that it was cutting jobs for non client facing staff to stay ahead of the game as well as reporting a sharper than expected 19% fall in investment bank revenues year on year. Deutsche Bank is now implementing efficiency measures across the front office and infrastructure, such as strict limitations on hiring in non-client facing areas, focused reductions in management layers, streamlining the mortgage platform, and further downsizing of the technology center in Russia. Backslash N backslash N despite these developments, results for the previous quarter, the fourth quarter of the year, were ultimately positive, with a 1.8 billion euro net profit that greatly exceeded expectations, and helped to push the bank's annual net income to 5 billion euros. Positive gains for the upcoming quarter, however, were still uncertain, and market tensions kept traders cautious, with the bank stock falling and credit default swaps soaring. The panic was ultimately quelled by a statement from German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Backslash and backslash and additional data highlights for the quarter included 7.7 billion euros in revenue and 372 million euros in provisions for credit losses. The set one capital ratio, an important measure of bank solvency, was 13.6% up from 12.8% a year ago and 13.4% the previous quarter. Backslash and backslash and this is financial update. Tune in tomorrow as we continue to monitor the international markets and report on the day's latest news. Thank you for watching.